Hey, so, um, yeah, today was a good day. I went to the gym. I want to do a quick vlog before the day was over. It's like 11, 24. It's probably going to be Friday by the time this uploads, but it's good Friday. It's Jesus Day. I was I was in the middle of eating, and my cousin told me, like, it's good Friday. I'm like, what does that mean? He says, it's the day that Jesus got crucified, and I was like, <coughs> You know, I've been, you know, I've been feeling pretty blessed, honestly. And, um, I just wanted to talk about this, a quick subject. Um, I've been seeing people lately during confrontations, they would immediately take out the phone and record the other person instead of, you know, I don't know. It just, it just annoys me. Like, like I think footage nowadays like I was watching this, these two people curse out this other guy and just act like complete idiots and assholes, but they were, they were on the other side of the camera, not the, the recording side. And he's just sitting there like, oh, I, this could be mainstream. I could lose my job or acting like a fool. And it's like United Airlines. Um, I, I mean, I, there's a lot of memes going on about that and it's pretty funny, but that I don't. That was completely wrong, what happened with United Airlines. But I just feel like a lot of the stories or a lot of things that get recorded just happen to be in the middle of it or towards the end of a confrontation. You don't really know what's going on. And then people just run with it. like, And it's, they don't even know the whole story. It's like half of the story or the moment they decide to record. It's like the woman with who was freaking out about the PD, uh, the, her, you know, her boyfriend, supposedly that the, the, I'm really bad today. <laughs> Suppose I just got back from the gym and I'm, I'm really looking at my food right now. I'm like, should I eat? I need to eat. But, uh, the lady that freaked out at that, uh, ice cream shop, you know, cause she saw a couple, the boyfriend of the couple kiss her, his girlfriend on the forehead. And she just freaked out. I mean, yeah, PDA makes people uncomfortable, but yeah, she was crazy. But like, it's just like you don't know the whole thing. You know, I don't know. It's taking me back from the vlogs. Honestly, I was thinking like, uh, I don't want to be some later down the line, look back now and be like, oh, I'm like, the hell was I doing? What was I thinking? But I don't know. It's kind of like a time capsule if I, if I, when I do keep this going. I've been thinking about moving to California a lot and finding my tribe where I'm celebrated, not tolerated. It's going to be crazy, but I need a car. I need a lot of other things, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Peace and love, folks. Peace and love. Ugh, no. <laughs> Take it easy.